Hi there, I'm Chris White. Welcome to the Chris White Challenge 2007! The first one. It went so well in 2006 that I was actually able to buy a yacht, which explains the gentle swing of the camera. This first subject of the year comes from Stephen White, and it is pet names, meaning either terms of endearment or the actual names you give your pets. Not a bad subject. I thought it came out pretty well. You may notice the similarities in names. Stephen White is my brother, though not biological. That was a secret! Mm. Please send your challenge ideas to chris at dcstandup.com and check out all the previous challenges at chriswhitesucks.com. You'll be glad you did! Now batten down something, you lolly wob daggers. I love my girlfriend. She's very cute. We have, uh, we have like pet names for each other. She calls me uh, Pumpkin because I have a tremendously huge orange head. And... Uh, I call her baby because I can't really remember her name. Uh, it's confusing. Yeah. I think the most disturbing pet name you can have for somebody is baby cakes. That's hard. What does that mean? Nothing says romance like a cake made out of human babies. Mm! I love you. Infanticide. Cannibalism. Yay. I don't know. Mm. People have all kinds of cool names. A lot of pet names have to do with like food, like sweet things, like honey buns or you know uh, sugar buns or something buns. And that seems weird to me because I like honey buns, but I don't want to eat honey buns every single day. If I did, I'd get sick of them. They make me sick and fat and disgusting. You should call your lady something you want to have every single day. You should call your lady oxycotton. <laughs> It's what's for dinner. Mm. I dated a girl once named Katie, and of course my name is Chris. She used to call me uh, <laughs> Vitamin C because <laughs> my name is Chris. It was embarrassing and stupid, right? But uh, whenever, whenever I was in the mood for some romance, like I think you have scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> And she put on a British naval uniform, and I put on a giant lime costume. After that, it would get weird. Yeah. And her name was Katie, right? So uh, I called her Special K, right? And when she was in the mood for something, she's like, you want some Special K? I said, I'm not really a breakfast person. Yeah, I, uh, not gonna happen. Oh. It gets confusing for me, because I date upwards of two or three women a decade, and it's hard to sort out. If you use pet names, if you use these affectionate names for people, you can mix them up, and you don't want to use the same name for different people, because then they call you on it, it's weird, right? So I use the same pet name for every girl I date now, Chocolate Princess. <laughs> and if she says, hey, but I'm white, I'm like, well, you're also a racist. Kick it to the curb, honey. <laughs> I don't date no racists. You gotta be careful when you're picking out a pet. Now, you don't want to go too soon, because it, it indicates a certain level of intimacy. You can't do it on a first date, because that's just weird, right? It's like, hey, I had a great time meeting you. That was a great movie. See you tomorrow, sugar tits. <laughs> too soon. But if she likes it, you found somebody special. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know who uses pet names all the time? Every single day is like old people. They can just anyone. Man, woman, they can call anyone, anything they want. My grandfather has a pet name for everybody. Well, not so much pet names as ethnic slurs. Every single <laughs> person. He's a very creative man. I, uh, yeah. actual, actual pet name is kind of refreshing. Like, people waste dog names. Like, if you name your dog, you can name your dog anything in the world, right? And people waste it with stupid things like Rex or Spot. That's pointless. You could name your dog a phrase which would be interesting to me, right? Like, people tell me this, you get a dog, you go to a dog park, you meet people at the dog park, right? People come up to you and talk to you about the dog. So you could name your dog, you have fantastic breasts, let's have a drink. And then when someone comes up to you and says, hey, what's your dog's name? Well, <laughs> you have fantastic breasts, let's go for a drink. And if she's not into it, that's where your second dog comes into play, and his name is, you're a huge whore and I didn't like you anyway. <laughs> you're a huge whore and I didn't like you anyway! Come! Come! <laughs> Time to go home. That's horrible. Mm. That's absolutely horrible.